Yo, what's good? I'm Levert. That's D. Rich. This is the Real Talk Sports Show. We're back again in Kent, Ohio tonight to watch the Ohio State playoffs. Another great matchup. Maslin versus Camp McKinley. Let's get right to it. D. Rich, give us the keys to the game tonight. Well, the key for Cam McKinley is, is they cannot have Eric Glover Williams running around back there in the backfield. He's a great quarterback, but their line has to step up and block tonight. They, get, they can't have him running around out there. And for Maslin, they have to stick to the passing game. It's not cold out, so I think they can do just that. Yes, yes, we know Williams is an explosive runner as well as a passer. Uh, D. Rich, I know you already gave us a couple players, but uh, on the Maslin side, who are we looking at uh, as far as key players? You know, Bert, this is a, this is the third game that we covered the Maslin. It, it, it hasn't changed. Yeah. Kyle Kemp, one of the best quarterbacks in the country in my eyes, and Gary Ann Conley, one of the best defensive backs. And for uh, Cam McKinley, Antoine Miles, 89, defensive end. Watch out, watch out for him to make some plays. He's a big boy. And Eric Glover Williams, he's little, but don't let his size fool you. He's one of the top players in the class of 2015. I'm looking for him to impress me tonight. I want to see what all the hype is about. Yeah, the kid's got some wheels on him. Yeah, Kyle Kemp, though, for almost 300 yards in the win against McKinley in the regular season. So there you have it. Two powerhouse stack teams getting ready to go at it. D. Rich, who you picking? Uh, I usually don't do this, but no pick tonight. I just, I just want to see some football. No, no pick tonight. Who you got, Vert? Oh, no pick. No pick. Uh, I, I'm going to go with Maslin simply because I've seen them all year and I've seen what they can do. Kyle Kemp, Gary Ann Conley, they're the truth. But definitely I'm picking Maslin because they won in the regular season. So We'll see. Football to be played. There you guys have it. We're getting ready to get into the game. We're going to bring you the highlights. Make sure you check back with us for the after game, the post game show. It's Levert, D. Rich. This is the Real Talk Sports Show. We holler.
Yo, what's good? I'm LaVert. That's D-Rich. This is the Real Talk Sports Show. We're here tonight at what appeared to start off to be a great game, but Maslin has took control here at the end of the second half, and the final score right now is 28-13 to 13 with about a minute and 53 seconds to go. D-Rich, tell us what happened tonight, man. I, I picked Maslin, though. I'm telling you. I just had to tell you I picked Maslin. My prediction came true. So give him the breakdown. Well, honestly, man, every time we come to a Maslin game, it seems like we're in the, in the game early. It seems like Maslin starts to run away. But I know when they played St. V, I said that the refs won that game. But Maslin came out here tonight, and they won this game. They dominated on both sides of the football. Cong congratulations, Maslin. There's not much to talk about. This is their second time beating this Cam McKinley team. And they're moving on next week. Finals. Kyle Kemp was his usual self. Three touchdown passes. Garyon Conley played well on both sides of the ball. D. Rich, 
Was there anything else that, you, that stuck out to you tonight about the game, man? Oh, oh nothing, else, nothing else. I want to see these Madison boys, you know, I want to see them get a state championship because out of all the years, out of all the hype, they're, they're probably one of the most hyped programs in the nation, but they don't have a state championship. So I want to see them get a state championship so they can get these fans what they want because this is a nice crowd, and I want them to get what they want. There it is. Y'all have it from D. Rich. We hoping that we can bring Paul Brown a state title, state title home. Uh, Maslin, they, they played their hearts out tonight. We're going to see what they're going to do in, in the future rounds. Once again, it's Levert, D. Rich, Real Talk Sports Show. See you guys next week.